Howdy everyone, it's Sam. Welcome to the Wobble Enjoy Sports channel. If you're new around here, hope I can get you to consider liking the content and subscribing to the channel. But if you are a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. The NFL returned with a massive bang this past weekend. Let's waste no time in getting in to week number two of the 2023 NFL season. Week two of the 2023 NFL season starts on Friday morning here in Australia. It's Thursday night football from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. The Eagles host the Vikings. On sports bet, the Eagles are $1.32. The Vikings are $3.41. This will be the 31st meeting between the Eagles and the Vikings, and they can't split the difference. They haven't been able to split the difference. It's 15 wins apiece between these two franchises. They last met last year season in Philadelphia and the Eagles absolutely belted them uh, 24 points to seven. Uh, Minnesota last won in Philadelphia in 2018, uh, but the last time that they did defeat the Philadelphia Eagles was in season 2019. So it has been rather competitive between these two franchises. Don't think that's going to be the case this weekend though. Philadelphia Traveled to New England last weekend, got a tough win in the rain against the New England Patriots on Tom Brady Day. Uh, so up against a, a round one opponent like New England Patriots, they had to really dig deep and they got the dub. Meanwhile, the Vikings hosted Tampa Bay and they went down by three points against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and by reports, a really scrappy average old game of footy that didn't impress anyone, winner or loser in that contest. I think Philadelphia, they'll just be way too, way too strong for the Vikings. They should win this game by 13 plus. On to the big chunk of games on Sunday. The first one, we travel back to Mercedes-Benz Superdome in Atlanta, Georgia, where we see the Falcons host the Green Bay Packers. And on sportsbet.com.au, the home side, the Falcons, are $2.03 outsiders. The Green Bay Packers are $1.79 favorites. This will be the 36th meeting between the two franchises. The Green Bay Packers have a 19 to 16 overall head-to-head -head record over the Falcons. They last played each other in 2020. That was at Green Bay. Green Bay won. Green Bay haven't won in Atlanta since 2011, and this is their first trip to Atlanta, Georgia, uh, since 2017 for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, the Falcons last weekend got a 14-point victory over the Carolina Panthers at home, uh, and the Green Bay Packers absolutely destroyed the Chicago Bears as well, uh, really shutting the mouths of the Chicago Bears after they thought they were going to hit the ground running. I thought the Bears were going to hit the ground running, and yeah, that hoodoo the Packers have over the Bears is absolutely immense. This should be a really good tough, competitive affair uh, between the Falcons and Packers. It should reveal a lot more about the Packers than the Falcons, to be honest with you. Um, the value on the Falcons is almost too good to pass up, but I'll play it somewhat safe. I'll go the Green Bay Packers. I'll jump on their bandwagon this weekend, and I'll tip the Green Bay Packers to win like a 1-12 to sort of a scoreline. The next game, we travel to uh, Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida. The Buccaneers host the Chicago Bears. The Bucks are $1.67 favorites, whereas the Chicago Bears are $2.22 outsiders. This will be the 62nd meeting between Tampa Bay and Chicago, and Chicago have the overall head-to-head -head record at 40 to 21. The last game they played was in 2021. That was in Tampa Bay, uh, and Tampa Bay won 38 to 3. Uh, Chicago have not won in Tampa Bay, Florida since 2015. We've mentioned both of these sides just then. Bucks, an unimpressive victory against the Vikings, albeit away from home. Uh, and then the Chicago Bears hosting the Packers and getting obliterated in the first three quarters before getting some sort of respectability back to the scoreboard. Uh, just because they're at home, I'm going to go the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win this game 1-12. to Back up north we go, and it's Ford Field is the next venue for week two of the NFL season and the Detroit Lions. Oh my God. They host 
the Seattle Seahawks. This will be the 18th meeting between the two franchises and the Seahawks have had 12 and five record over the Lions on sports bet. The Lions are favorites at a dollar 39, whereas the Seattle Seahawks are $3 outsiders. Detroit have not beaten the Seattle Seahawks since 2012. Uh, Seattle have won eight of the past nine encounters between these two since 2003. Seattle currently are on a five-game win streak against the Lions that started in 2015. And the past two games between these franchises have been ultra, ultra high scoring. 51 to 29 and 48 to 43 have been the two score lines between the Lions and the Seahawks over the past couple of seasons. Uh, I don't think we'll get a score line like that. I do think we're in for a thriller. Seahawks disappointing last weekend at home hosting the Los Angeles Rams didn't come out in that second half and uh, for all that talk about the new attack uh, it didn't click unfortunately and the Rams uh, ambushed us unfortunately meanwhile the Detroit Lions as everybody else is saying you can f off that asterisk just because uh, Kelsey didn't play the Lions went to Arrowhead Stadium and beat the Super Bowl champions, the Chiefs. No asterisks in any way, shape, or form. Arguably the best win in Detroit Lions history as it stands at the moment, or one of anyway. Uh, so for all the history that Seattle have got over the Lions, it's the Lions that are coming into this game with all the momentum, and it's going to kick them right in the face. And I'm talking to you, BKR Sport. So... I'm going to tip the Seattle Seahawks to win this game 13 plus, bro. Then we're off to Highmark Stadium in Buffalo, New York. The Bills host the Las Vegas Raiders on sports bet. The Bills are favorites at $1.22. The Raiders are $4.30 outsiders. This will be the 43rd meeting and they cannot split the difference. It's 21 wins apiece. And this will be the first meeting between the two since 2020, where Buffalo won a somewhat famous game for a pretty famous touchdown that was down at Allegiant Stadium. This is the first trip to Buffalo for the Raiders franchise since 2017. Yet the Raiders franchise has not won in Buffalo, New York since 2002. Las Vegas Raiders seemingly somewhat coming back from the dead last weekend to defeat the Denver Broncos. Denver looked like that they were about to wrap things up, but then collapsed. Raiders won that game and they continue their dominance over their great rivals. Meanwhile, the Buffalo Bills, oh man, a really rough, rocky start. Uh, to their campaign going down to New York Jets in overtime with a uh, a run back or a punt return touchdown that was scored upon them. A lot of turnovers from Josh Allen, a really nervous, shaky start from the Buffalo Bills overall. But I think back at home against the Las Vegas Raiders, I think the Bills still are a contender to appear in a Super Bowl this year, but they really got to put last weekend's effort behind them quick, smart, and move forward and evolve. I'm going to tip the Buffalo Bills to win this game 13 plus. In a rivalry game emanating from Paul Brown Stadium, the Cincinnati Bengals host the Baltimore Ravens for the 56th time these two franchises will come head to head. And there's only one win that separates them. The Baltimore have 28 wins. Cincinnati have 27 victories all time. On sports bet, the Bengals are at $1.52, whereas the Ravens are $2.54. These two sides last met in the playoffs last season. Cincinnati won an incredible game uh, with a 70, 80, maybe even 90 meter run uh, to score the touchdown in the end. Uh, Baltimore last won in Cincinnati in 2021 but since that victory Cincinnati have then gone on to win four of the next five encounters the Baltimore Ravens doing their business against the Texans but it came at a price Dobbins went down with an injury that I think rules him out for the season so again the emergency ward at Baltimore is already already open and there's already customers starting to fill up that emergency ward and the Cincinnati Bengals got punched in the face by the Cleveland Browns last weekend. 
Joe Burrow only throwing for 80 odd yards, 80 odd yards or something like that. A real disappointing performance from the Cincinnati Bengals. This is a hard game to tip. I really am split. The, the value on the Ravens is almost too good to pass up. But I think this Bengals side, they are another team that well and truly could appear in the Super Bowl at the end of this season. I think back at home in more comfortable surroundings, that got punched in the face. It's now time for them to get back up. I'm going to tip the Cincinnati Bengals to win this game in a close one, 1-12. to And I'll tell you what, this could very well be the game of the weekend. The Jacksonville Jaguars host the Kansas City Chiefs from TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. On Sportsbet, the Jaguars are $2.32 outsiders. The Chiefs, the away side, are $1.61 favorites. This is the 16th meeting between the Jaguars and the Chiefs, and the Chiefs have a 9-6 overall head-to-head record. This is their first trip to Jacksonville, the Chiefs, since 2019. Since 2010, Kansas City have won seven in a row against the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars last defeated the Chiefs in the year 2009. Uh, Last time that these two sides met was in the playoffs. Chiefs winning 27 to 20. The Jaguars were coming to get them, but this young side just didn't have that extra gear to defeat the Kansas City Chiefs away from home uh, and to the eventual Super Bowl champions. This should be an absolute beauty. I think uh, superstar defender Chris Jones uh, has re-signed and he is going to partake in this game. I imagine that Travis Kelsey is also going to return in this contest as well. It would set them up beautifully, the Jaguars, if they were to win this game against the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, it's It's early on in the season but it's such an important game for both of these franchises. Could you imagine if the Chiefs go 0-2 in the first two weeks of the season or if the Jaguars go 2-0 with a victory over the Kansas City Chiefs? This is an enormous game. The value on the Jaguars, again, really, really enticing, but I just think those two player inclusions, in particular Travis Kelsey, will be enough to get the Chiefs over the line but this is going to be a freaking brilliant game. Chiefs to win 1-12. to Now we shift over to Nissan Stadium in Tennessee. The Titans host the Los Angeles Chargers. This will be the 49th meeting between the two franchises. And the Chargers have the overall head-to-head record at 29-18 to with one draw thrown in there as well. On sportsbet.com.au, it is the Los Angeles Chargers who are favorites. $1.59. The home side are $2.38 outsiders. Since 1993, Los Angeles Chargers or the San Diego Chargers have won 14 of the 16 matches played whenever they go up against the Titans or the Oilers, the Houston Oilers, as this franchise was once known as. Uh, the last time that the Tennessee Titans won uh, was about three years ago over the uh, Los An- over the Los Angeles Chargers, um, but the past five straight games between these two clubs have been decided by eight points or less. So I think we are in for another thriller. They met last season. The Chargers won seventeen to fourteen. The Tennessee Titans they traveled to New Orleans and they had the, they, they copped their first loss in the New Orleans Caesar Superdome. Uh, for the first time in history, only going down by one point. Uh, and the Sandy, well, the Los Angeles Chargers, uh, they lost a, a thriller against the Miami Dolphins, another high-scoring affair where they bottled it in the end, unfortunately, 36-34. to 34. Um, I just think that while we're in for another cracking contest, I think the Chargers are just, I think they're a level above the Tennessee Titans. I think they've got more of a shot of featuring in the playoffs this season. I'm going to tip the Chargers to travel away from home and get their first dub of the season, 1-12 to over the Titans. Now we travel to SoFi Stadium where we see NFC West rivals do battle. This will be the 149th meeting between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. The San Francisco 49ers have a 77-68 to 
three draws thrown in there as well. Lead over the Rams franchise on sportsbet.com.au. San Francisco are $1.27 favorites. The Rams are $3.80 outsiders. Since 2019, San Francisco have won eight of the past nine encounters between these two. The last time the Rams defeated the San Francisco 49ers was in the 2022 or 2021, 2022 playoffs. The Rams ambushing Seattle last weekend up at Lumen Field, uh, getting the dub 30 to 13. I think Seattle just thought that it was just going to happen for him that day. It didn't. San Francisco 49ers limiting the hell out of the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. Uh, a fantastic effort from the San Francisco 49ers, who they themselves are going to be going deep in 2023, in my opinion. I think they should be way too good for the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, they are a bit of a bogey side over Los Angeles, San Francisco. I think they'll win 13 plus. NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas is the next game. The Texans host the Indianapolis Colts. Yuck. Anyway, on Sportsbet, we've got the Texans, the home side, at $2.04. The Colts are $1.78. This will be the 43rd meeting between the two uh, in division rivals, and the Indianapolis Colts uh, absolutely have it over the Houston Texans. 32 wins to 10, and one draw thrown in there as well. The last meeting as a matter of fact the two games between the Texans and the Colts however have somewhat gone the way of the Houston Texans Houston traveled to Indianapolis last season won by a single point and the earlier contest between these two rivals at the start of last season ended up in a draw uh the Houston Texans uh they copped their first win over the Colts since 2000 and 19 and that was at Houston so now they host their rivals once again in Houston I think they are a sniff the Indianapolis Colts are working with a rookie quarterback who made them more competitive than what people were anticipating against the Jacksonville Jaguars even though the Colts did go down in the end I really want to tip the Houston Texans I really want to tip them here but they should I, I was I was hoping that they would be a little bit better against the Ravens last weekend, and it just wasn't meant to be. Um, I do, yeah, I know you've got to play a little bit, you know, uh, like you've got to have some upsets in your weekly tipping, but I just don't I don't want to go near the Houston Texans just yet, just yet. Uh, so I'm going to tip the Indianapolis Colts to win 1-12. to Speaking of yuck, we've got the Arizona Cardinals hosting the New York Giants from uh, the University of Phoenix Stadium in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, the Cardinals on Sportsbet are outsiders at $2.93, whereas the New York Giants are $1.41 favorites. This will be the 100 and 30th meeting between the Giants and the Cardinals. And the Giants have the wood over the Cardinals, 81 to 46, with two draws thrown in there as well. The last time that these two franchises played each other was in 2020. Uh, Arizona won that encounter, but this is their first trip, the Giants. This is their first trip to Arizona since 2017, but they haven't won in Arizona since 2011. So while the overall head-to-head -head record does prove that the Giants are well and truly, uh, they've got the wood over the Cardinals, Arizona have had the wood on them throughout recent times though. But the New York Giants, uh, arguably the most disappointing team of the first week of the season last weekend, still yet to score their first points of the season, going down 40-0 in front of their home fans last weekend. Whereas the Arizona Cardinals, they lost the game by only four points. So there is something to work on or work off from for the Arizona Cardinals, but they still uh, ended up with the L in the end. It's a bit tough to tip. Um, $2.93 about the home side, uh, hosting a team that didn't score a point last weekend and got absolutely embarrassed. I really want to tip the Cardinals, but this giant side, you know, they, they did some good, good stuff. They earned a little bit of, re well, they earned respect and they earned a little bit of trust out of me to the point where I'm going to give them another chance 
even though I didn't tip him last weekend, but I'm going to give him a chance uh, this weekend. And I'm going to say the New York Giants travel to Arizona and get their first win 1-12 to since 2011. The next match, we're off to AT&T Stadium to see the Dallas Cowboys host the New York Jets. On Sportsbet, the Cowboys are $1.21 favorites. The New York Jets are $4.45 outsiders. And immediately, let's just touch on it. Aaron Rodgers doing his Achilles out for the season for the New York Jets. I'm not the biggest Aaron Rodgers fan, but gee whiz, I hope uh, a smooth, swift recovery for that bloke. I'm gutted for New York Jets fans as well. Um, but what an incredible victory the New York Jets was able to muster up against the Buffalo Bills uh, on Monday Night Football or yesterday on Tuesday morning. Um Amazing, an amazing effort. Meanwhile, the Dallas Cowboys are looking for a, a, the, the New York double uh, to start their season. They absolutely crunched the New York Giants 40-0 in New York last weekend. Uh, there's a stat here that I was not anticipating to read out or discover, and it just blew my mind. Like it just, with all the history for as long as these two franchises have been in the game. This blew my mind. This will, including this weekend, this will only be the 13th meeting between the Cowboys and the Jets. There was about 13 years there in the late 70s to the early 90s or somewhere like that where they didn't play a single game against each other. So that contributes. But this is only the 13th game between the Cowboys and the Jets. Uh, and it's the Dallas Cowboys who have seven wins and the Jets have five wins. However, last time they met was back in 2019 in New York. The Jets won that day. As a matter of fact, the New York Jets have won the past three in a row against the Dallas Cowboys. This is the first trip to AT&T Stadium for the New York Jets since 2015. This is their second ever match at AT&T Stadium. The last time, get this, the Cowboys defeated the Jets in any way was in the year 2007. What? What? So the Jets, they've got it over the Cowboys, man. And if Aaron Rodgers was playing in this game and we're still talking about the Jets being at $4.45 or potentially with Aaron Rodgers playing, being maybe $3.10 or something like that. You're absolutely right. I would have been picking the Jets to dominate them again and continue this sort of mini hoodoo over the Dallas Cowboys. But um, I think that offensive line for the New York Jets to try and stop the defense of the Dallas Cowboys this weekend, I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. But I do think the Jets can still give the Dallas Cowboys a scare. Besides Aaron Rodgers, everything they've worked on throughout the preseason, it's still there. They're still 100% ready to rock and roll this defense and some of these really good attacking weapons. The running back, Brace Hall, was so good as well, by the way. What a return from an ACL injury uh, for Brace Hall over the weekend. Unbelievable. But I do think that the Dallas Cowboys will win this game. I won't go 13+. plus. I'll say the Cowboys do just pip them 1-12. to The Denver Broncos have two home games to start 2023, and their next opponents are the Washington Commanders. From Mile High Stadium, the Broncos versus the Commanders. On sports bet, Denver are the favorites at $1.53. The Commanders are $2.51 outsiders. Overall, this will be only the 16th meeting between the Broncos and the Commanders, and it is Denver who have just the one more solitary win over the Washington franchise, 8-7. to seven. These two last met in 2021. It was in Denver. Denver won. Washington have not won in Denver at Mile High Stadium since 2001. So that is a massive record for them to try and overcome. The last time that the Washington franchise did defeat the Denver Broncos in any way was in 2017. The Broncos are fluffing it against the Las Vegas Raiders. That hoodoo uh, the Raiders have over the Broncos still continues, unfortunately. Uh, and then for the Washington Commanders, 
they got their first dub of the season. A good way to start for the Commanders uh, over the Arizona Cardinals, but that was against the Arizona Cardinals. A kind of, kind of a tough one here. Kind of a tough one. These Commanders, like two of the past three seasons or three of the past four years, they've been a really plucky side, man. A really plucky side. But I'll go the Denver Broncos. I'll give it, I'll give them another chance. Um, and I'll say that they'll win this game 1-12 to in a pretty competitive affair. Third last game of the weekend, we've got the Miami Dolphins uh, taking on the New England Patriots. On Sportsbet, the New England Patriots are $2.13 outsiders. The Dolphins are $1.72 favorites. And this game is taking place at Gillette Stadium. There's been 115 games between these two franchises. And it is Miami, believe it or not, who have the record over the Patriots with 60 wins to 55. So this weekend marks the 116th meeting between the Patriots and the Dolphins since 2020 to really uh, put more of a spotlight on the dominance that the Dolphins have had over recent times. Since 2020, the Dolphins have won four of the past six games. There was a four game winning streak involved in that run as well. Um, but that was broken the last time that these two sides met. So the Patriots did get their first dub uh, in a couple of years over the Dolphins. Last time that they played in the arse end of the 2022 NFL season. Uh, so New England versus Miami. Uh, it, they are the bogey side, the Miami Dolphins over uh, the Patriots for sure and certain. But the Patriots really showed some gumption. Uh, against the Philadelphia Eagles last weekend at home against uh, one of the Super Bowl uh, favorites in Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, the Miami Dolphins, they were involved in a high-scoring affair. They were able to get the dub uh, with, with only a minute or so remaining. They did get the dub in the end in a thriller. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, if Coach Bill Belichick is going to allow the Patriots to start their season 0-2 this year. I don't know, man. They were competitive against Philadelphia. I don't know um, if they will, but this offense for the Miami Dolphins is pretty bloody good. Yeah, Tua Tunga Laivoa having himself a cracking start to the season last weekend. I think it, there's a stat floating around that he has thrown last weekend the third most amount of uh, passing yards for anybody in history in week one of an NFL season game. So that, that's a that's a great uh, little record to have on your belt. I'm going to tip Miami Dolphins with not a lot of confidence. I think there could be an upset brewing uh, for the New England Patriots, but I'll play it somewhat safe and say the Miami Dolphins win away from home and continue this little hoodoo they've got over the Patriots 1-12. to now we're on to Monday Night Football, and there are two games on Monday Night Football or Tuesday morning here in Australia. The first game sees the Carolina Panthers host the New Orleans Saints. This will be the 58th meeting between the Saints and the Panthers, and the New Orleans Saints have the overall head-to-head -head record by only one victory, 29-28. to 28. On sports bet, the Saints are the favourites away from home, $1.56. The Panthers at home are outsiders at $2.45. Last season, which makes that a little bit more enticing for me to tip the Panthers, uh, the Panthers swept the New Orleans Saints last season. So the New Orleans Saints have not won in Carolina since uh, January of 2021. Um, Saints winning by one point against the Tennessee Titans. The Panthers going down by 14 points uh, against the Atlanta Falcons. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I want to tip the Panthers. I just got this. I don't know. I like the Panthers. Like, like you know, they're not my second favorite team. I just. I really want to see the Panthers start to rise back up the ranks after they had that one Super Bowl appearance, uh, appearance like in the midway through the 2010s, and since then they haven't been freaking seen. So, uh, but Derek Carr, he did play decently. He played good um, against uh, the uh, Tennessee Titans last weekend uh, for the New Orleans Saints. So, oh, buggy, uh, 
I'll, I'll go the New Orleans Saints. I kind of don't want to. Hope they do get it. Um, nothing against the Saints, but yeah, I'll go the New Orleans Saints to win this game 1-12. to And the final game of week number two for the 2023 NFL season is so important. I know it's only the second week, but it is so important for both of these sides to have either a good showing or to absolutely get that dub. We've got a rivalry game, a massive rivalry game. The Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Cleveland Browns from Acrucia Stadium. The Steelers sit at $2.08 outsiders against the Cleveland Browns who are the away side and coming into the game as a dollar seventy-five favorites. This will be the 144th meeting. The Pittsburgh Steelers have the overall head-to-head -head record, 80 to 62, with one draw thrown in there as well. These two sides shared the wins last season, but Cleveland Browns have not won in Pittsburgh since they won that famous playoff game in the 2020-2021 playoff series. Cleveland Browns, impressing, absolutely eye-bulging everyone uh, by winning 24-3 against the Cincinnati Bengals in front of their home fans. A fantastic victory for that franchise. Meanwhile, the Pittsburgh Steelers, look, I know the Cowboys decimated the New York Giants 40-0, but the Steelers, you could put in the argument of being one of the more disappointing sides of the first week of the season. Um, again, sort of like the same with Bell Belichick. Do you think that coach Mike Tomlin is going to allow the Steelers to go zero and two to start this season. I don't think so, but this Cleveland Brown side, man, it was a really positive start for them, wasn't it? Uh, and for the Steelers to be outsiders, ooh, I don't think I've tipped an upset this weekend besides my Seattle Seahawks to do the job. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is, this, this is gonna be a revealing contest between two desperate sides it's only week two but they gotta they, they gotta start doing it to themselves they gotta switch it on um i'm gonna tip the pittsburgh steelers here i really hope that that rude awakening that that punch in the face that they received from the 49ers last weekend is enough for them to really activate this weekend against the brown side that look they have been inconsistent i know that this year is the start of a new um, well, maybe not the start of a new era, but it is really the start of they need to do, they, they need to start gaining some sort of success and consistency. Um, I'm going to tip the Pittsburgh Steelers, the outsiders at $2.08 here. Uh, they have the wood over the Browns, but um, yeah, this should be a thriller. I'm going to tip the Pittsburgh Steelers to win this game 1-12. to Yo, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope your team wins this weekend, except for the Detroit Lions. And I'll see you guys next week in week three of the 2023 NFL Tips Show. Thank you very much. Take care. Adios.